that our economy is in a crisis right now. That things are not going well with the economy because austerity measures now simply means that the government wants to cut its budget because um, the food oil price has fallen um, as, 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 as a decline in, in the international market and we can no longer cope with our fat budget or no longer manage to spend the way we used to do before. So it's a clear indication that the economy is in a crisis right now. And if the measures are not taken, we might end up having a serious problem on our hands because you know that in the case of the economy problems, it affects every part or every life of the, um, of the citizens because you know we spend money every day. The economy forms the bane of our life now. So if anything should happen to the economy, it's going to have a negative impact on every aspect of life. And this is a result of the government and um, nonchalance and lavishness. The government spends so much on red masses like um, foreign trips, allowances, personal assistance, aids, and so many red that they're supposed to uh, manage money on. So they are, they are not uh, financially disciplined and this has had um, a major effect on Nigeria. Because you know, if you look at the trend of population in Nigeria, we are always um, spending money on different things like um, on private jets, um, building houses, um, 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 spending lavishly, traveling abroad to observe um, pilgrimage and all of this stuff. And these are things that are irrelevant to, um, to the country. So now that um, rule of rights has fallen and we, we no longer have um, the, the, the luxury of money as we used to have before, there is a serious problem. And the government is tackling this problem as soon as possible. By what? By breaking the monopoly of oil, by investing in other sectors like agriculture, tourism, mining, coal, and so many other sectors that we can get revenue from. Because if we don't break the monopoly of oil, our economy will be dead in few years time because um, we said that soon that the good of price will even fall further. And for us to avoid this, we must try to break the monopoly of oil. Otherwise, we have a big problem on our hands, and at the end of the day, Nigerians will suffer for us because this is us, as we all know, are made already. Then it should go worse and travel out of the country and have and live a luxury life whatever the family. So we must add a solution to this problem very, very soon. So from your own perspective, are you in support or not? Well, I think I'm in support because you know that, uh, like I said earlier, the economy is in, is in crisis right now and we need to reduce our spending as much as possible. But what I'm against is that this austerity measure does not affect the government officials. They still keep their long motor kids, they still keep their fat budget, their fat allowances, their fat food. So I think that they should that's the case from them and then down to the citizens. So, in my opinion, I think it is, um, it is impartial, impartial rather.